Let's talk about love Like you and me all night And let's talk about love And feel it alright And let's talk about love Yeah, baby, come and dance with me You're everything I'll ever need So let's, let's talk about love Déjà. Alors, yeah, bitch. <rire> Channel, guys. This is Rome Locally, and if you haven't already done so as yet, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share. So this edition is all about where we're from. You have my mind just going wrong in a cycle. Yeah. Make me feel like I'm on skip in my title. Mm. It's called Fit You Stacious. But those that love it call it Stacious. We've been taking a while to post this video. We wanted to make sure it was done right. Yes. We're proud of where we're from. Just to get how proud we is. Watch out, watch out, watch out. This is the shape of the island and what our flag look like. And it's done by her. Yep. All made by Vanessa. So yeah. Our story, our background, what we mixed with, this is what we were talking about on the first video. If you haven't seen that, I will link it up here so you could get to know us if this is the first time that you're watching our channel. How we came into existence. And what are we mixed with? White and black! <laughs> <laughs> That's a simple version. Yes. So to start our story, we got to give you our parent story. Our mother is from New York. She is second generation German American. German. Mm -hmm. Our dad, he was born and raised on the island of Stacia. His mom was a local and his father came from the neighboring island, St. Kitts. Our mom was on vacation in Stacia, visiting her sister-in-laws. Enjoying have, the beach. Yes, yes. They happened to be walking the beach and our father, one of his good friends, was like, You should go down on the beach because he see a sexy white woman down there on the beach and that's all my father had to hear. <laughs> yep, that was it. <laughs> he went straight down there. Yep. And the gentleman, his name is Sonny. That was every time I see him, I say, You don't match make a man because if it wasn't for you, we, we wouldn't, wouldn't be here. <laughs> yep, so shout out to you, Sonny. Thanks for doing that. Our oh, father went down to the beach, saw our mother. Driving in a little old car. You know, this was back in the day. This was back in what, the early 80s. Yeah. yeah, and the opening line was he hit our mother with was, Hey, how are you enjoying my island? Yeah, <laughs> he was mesmerized by her curves. Yes, she <laughs> booty delicious. <laughs> so she was on station for about two weeks. And they fall madly in love and they end up getting married less than a year of knowing each other. That is pretty awesome. Sometimes we just get like I get it a few times, I'm sure they have to, that we we've been told that we don't look like we're from the Caribbean. I don't know what that look like, but we show sure got strong roots <laughs> back to the Caribbean. <laughs> yep. So like we mentioned before, our mother she's German American and our father he's African because he's descendants from his mother's side of the family came from Africa. They were slaves brought to the island. So our great great grandmother, I believe, if not mistaken, was a slave. And her name was Colnet. And our father's side, his dad from England. Um, he's also Portuguese. So Italian. we have a lot of different mixes. Yeah, Italian, but mainly some Irish in there. We, yeah. we, are, we just like we a are melting pot. We're a mutt. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So our parents' story is kind of true, like a true love story, since they both met. Of like all a fairy tale. Places, yeah, of all places, mm -hmm. Stacia, where That barely exists on the map. Stacia is very small. We have a population of just over 3,000. And it actually changed hands 22 times. Stacia is rich in history. Tons and we tons of history. We are fought for by the Dutch, the Spanish, the French. And the English. And the English. And the English. And the Dutch win. Yeah. <laughs> Go Netherlands! <laughs> <laughs> On Stacia, we also have the second oldest Jewish synagogue within the Western Hemisphere. It still stands today, the ruins, so you could go and see it. Stacia also has some of the top diving in the world. I've dove before and I've snorkeled and it really is breathtaking. The quill is the highest point on the island. It is the dormant volcano. It, you can actually hike up and go inside the crater where rainforest is located. Yeah, it's honestly like... It's such a great experience to go, it's a tradition to go and hike the quail and then after that you go and hang out by the beach with your friends. We have black sandy beaches. Another fun fact about Stacia, we have 19 forts and batteries. They used to be placed strategically all throughout the island to notify when they would see ships coming in. and like a protective eye. Yeah. 
Morocco wasn't the first country to recognize the United States as a nation. It was us! <laughs> it was us. It was Tasha, and we got a plaque to prove it from the 32nd president of the United States, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. During the 17th and 18th century, on the island of Central Tasha, they had several factories, such as sugar, sisal, indigo factories, and cotton mills. Mm -hmm. So this is a blue bead. Slaves used to get this as a form of currency, and when slavery was abolished, the story goes to signify their freedom. They all threw it over the cliff and they all went into the water. Seisha is rich, and when we say rich, it's rich in, in history. culture, history, yeah. people, and love. Yep. With them big personalities. Yeah. So yeah. Seisha just run through all of our blood. That's where our heart lies, uh -huh. and we can guarantee if you go and visit, it will leave a special place in your heart because it is the golden rock of the Caribbean. Caribbean. There yeah, really is. is no place like Seisha. And we got a saying. If you're not in love with Seisha, get your ass out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <sad>. Real talk. <laughs> and this is the museum where we have our cousin, Misha Spana. Shout out to you. Who been providing us with all these facts. She has a lot of knowledge about Stacia and you will Well for knowledge. It. Yeah, and she'll be a great guide in the museum. Shout out to everybody in Stacia that will make Stacia Stacia. Shout and out thanks to for supporting us and talking about Stacia so much. It really make me can't wait for the next time that I touch down on the rock. Mm -hmm. We got summer year round. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Warm okay. water. Okay. Year so if you're struggling round. through winter right now, go to Stacia. Yes. If you want to go and get a break from your hometown, go, go to, to Stacia. If you want to pina colada on the beach, go to Stacia. If you want to drink all of a coconut on the beach, go to Stacia. <laughs> if you want volcanic sand, go to Stacia. <laughs> if you want good food, go to Stacia. <laughs> if, if you, you want to plan out want to go to paradise. Please go to the station. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Tell us what's your favorite thing about going back home. Or just if you've been there and you're a vacation or what you enjoyed most while you were there. And if you've recently been there or been there within the past couple of years, tag us on Instagram with any pictures that you have so we can see what you took while you were visiting our beautiful paradise. While you were roaming locally. Yes. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.